my name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm super fantastico and I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. And today I am reviewing New Leather Extract de Parfum by New Notes. This is 160 euros. I'm going onto their site for 50 mils. The sophisticated pleasure of a concentrate of unbridled leather. Honestly, who writes this? Which explodes. I'm not reading anymore because it sounds like it's going to be some sort of weird porn. Vladimir Cardamon, Patchouli Vertiver, Cypro, and I can never pronounce that. Balsam Gurgeon. A lot of time I'm just typing, can I have a leash of this? Can I have five liters of this? I never say it out loud. And sometimes on these videos, this is the first time I say it out loud. And once I said it to us, I phoned her up and said, do you have this acetate? And I can I pronounce it completely wrong. Dyslexic area, you see. We laugh, you see. It's stupid. Right, so the top notes are bergamot, saffron flower, pink pepper, and nutmeg. Heart notes are iris, labdomen, cardamom, rosewood. Mm-hmm. The base notes are cypril, suede accord, cinnamon zest, patchouli, vertifer, that balsam I can never pronounce, and warm woods. Do we have our bottles of new notes, new leather, extracted by fam? Are we engaged with our higher self? Let's get testing. So I have some cheese mate and a drama regarding this. When I started this journey doing the reviews, I never thought we'd get to 100,000 ever. I know I'm a little uncomfortable in front of the camera, can whatever, I do see it as a job. I never tell people I do this. You know, I tell people I'm a chemist, whatever. But I understand now because of my job that if I say something is good, people buy it. So I understand that people are spending their money on what I'm talking about. I got that, all right? I wanna say as well, companies can never ever buy me. I will never be bought ever. I don't do this job. It's not my main job, my main job is as a chemist, that's what I love, that's my passion. This is kind of entertainment. The review side, I enjoy doing it, I enjoy connecting with you. I don't know how long we're gonna be able to do this many videos. My business is getting like where I'm, that's where my thing is, but I try my best to do this. So I'm doing this now, what time is it? Eight o'clock at night, so I'm struggling to put these in. So that's the future, just so I let you know. I don't know how long I'm gonna do these for, I'll do my best. So I know where I came from, which is a really tiny company that's grown exponentially. And I always try and give niche companies, I will always try and buy buy their work with my own money, always bought with my own money, um, never ever sent. I think I've been sent one fragrance by Amwash. They sent it to me. And apart from that, I buy everything. I think I'm problematic because I'll tell you the truth. So I saw this company, new notes there wasn't much about it i've never seen much about it uh, they have a cherry fragrance all of this i bought the whole range because my intention was okay it's this independent company i did a thing independent company small company i'm going to use my platform i've got to help another company you know and i sort of i assumed it would be nice it, any that I, I never review stuff i don't really like sometimes i can't help it but majority of the time i try to do really positive reviews I bought the whole range of this. It cost me over a grand. They didn't send it. So two weeks after the money went and I had the confirmation email, I emailed them and I said, could you let me know where my order is? Are you having, you know, smaller companies? We have this all the time. We, we sometimes we take weeks, but we try to keep people informed. Best if somebody emails, we try and see where we're up to. I get it, it's hard, it's difficult when you're dealing with massive orders, but but they didn't reply, they didn't respond. So then again, I was like, okay, sometimes you could be that busy that you miss an email, sometimes you go in the junk box, all of that. So I emailed two or three times and I rang because another two weeks went past, it was a month after I spent a thousand. And eventually I got an email back saying they just changed factories and they were gonna get all the orders out. I was like, okay, that's great, kind of whatever. Another two weeks went past and I emailed in a game. It was like another, it kept being this sort of like excuse. Eventually it got to eight weeks. When by I have this on emails, actually, I'm not gonna do a big expose, but I have this on emails. I just received you no know, response at all. So then I had to contact my bank and I said, well, I've spent a thousand. It's not like buying one bottle for like 160. It kind of was like, a, I think a 1600. It kind of was like 10 of them all. It was a lot of money. And I emailed them and I said, look, my bank have advised me that if I don't get it after sort of, I think the cut point was 10 or 12 weeks. So I said at 12 weeks, because I bought it through my bank, through my business, uh, they could advise me to do a chargeback, but it took 12 weeks. 
I kept emailing, emailing, phoning, never getting a response. And eventually I just had nothing. So I ended up getting this through a legitimate other source. I am going to review it because I was so annoyed at that point that it took so long and they were just unresponsive and it made me feel as a customer like they didn't really care. I'm going to give it a fair review on, on that. I'm not going to be, you know, a total bearer. So let's look at the atomizer. Lovely atomizer. I would have loved to have got this. Part of me is kicking them, you know, whatever, but I'm still going to be really fair. It's an extractor perfam. I like the bottle as well. Lovely atomizer, you know, nice and dispersive. So leather scents are really, really hard, okay? Because you're generally using sulfurine and sepquinolone to create, or suedol as well, that's another one that's used, with other notes like cedol, uh, cedarwood patchouli, cypress smoke. It's kind of like enriched as a formula, can be used in oud formulas. You can use things like healing wood, uh, gayak wood to smoke it out. So you can take it in thousands and thousands of different directions. And the hard leather fragrances are really hard because they're jarring, I think. You always need to sweeten them because that much of those metallic notes are, I think, unpalatable. So this is based on Isu Super and it's been sweetened with vanillin. Vanillin is a interesting raw material. It has smoothing qualities, it has sweetening properties, it can act as a fixative. It's a powder at room temperature, it acts differently to ethyl vanillin and ethyl vanillin gives you a ice creamy, it's sweeter. But vanillin can be used to give you this sort of effect, which is sort of smoothing and softening and sweetening. But too much vanillin can be flattening and can actually have the opposite effect of smelling like a pudding. So you really need to get this sort of quite right. It's, a, it's quite a tricky you need you need really need to know what you're doing when you're handling these sort of formulations. So within sort of leather formulas, you would absolutely gravitate towards your wood compounds. 100% you would absolutely gravitate towards wood because wood and leather are again within the same category. And when you're building perfume, you need to look in the same categories because if you go outside of it, you get something weird. And generally, if you're being experimental or fun, which I don't do anymore. Uh, they smell weird. Fragrances smell weird, and there's a weirdness to it. So you look to you look towards the same classification of raw materials. So you would use your there's thousands and thousands of types of no maybe not thousands hundreds of types of wood compounds, and some do brightening, some do smoothing, some are really sandalwoody like. So this is the vanillin to smooth wood like compounds, brightening compounds, smoothing compounds. Yeah, on a base of wood compounds, nutmeg, that balsam I can never pronounce, we should remember these things. Nutmeg is another one. You've definitely, definitely 100% the more expensive you go with these extracts. Definitely, definitely notice the difference. I have noticed that in my own work that when you go up a notch to ultra sort of clean, I'm going to call them ultra clean, ultra pure extracts, you notice a difference in the work, definitely with the patchouli, uh, definitely with the, the nutmeg, the lang lang, and that was a big one as well. The nutmeg, what else? The ginger, goodness me, that one was the almost like worlds apart. It kind of clearer, I think it's the terpenes they get rid of, or some of the terpenoid compounds. They all have the ultra clean extracts, always have they have this sort of brightness about them, whereas the stock smells sort of like dirty. When you smell the two together, there's a dirtiness to it and I think when you sort of go into advanced perfumery that's when you need to spend your money bergamot is absolutely another one oh my god that is like worlds about lavender that's another one so all these sort of extracts they're sort of the stock ones sort of more dirty next to the ultra clean ones if that makes sense it's dying down and when you're using large amounts of vanilla you kind of get that it's quite difficult to get brightness when there's that much vanilla so initially it was quite strong and extractor perfumes sometimes have, because they're less alcohol and they're built differently, you don't get that radiance. It's a bit more flat and then it radiates off. So I think it's built like that. Metallic, the metallic note is from the Hannibalite and the smoothness is the uh, ethylene brassolate. Onto my final thoughts. I think it's all right. I'm gonna be really honest with you. I think it's okay. I liked it when I first got it. I thought, oh, this is like giving me something. 
but it's dried down quite flat. And all I've got on my skin is kind of a vanilla-y, leathery, nutmeggy, you know, a little bit of brightness, some ambery sort of compounds in it to give it some sort of something, but it's not giving me that, you know, insane radiance. And I kind of think, well, for niche houses, I really don't like that niche. Or as independent houses, that's much nicer. For independent small companies, uh, which really you should support. I'm not just saying it because it's kind of me and a you know sales bro or something. You know, if you love perfumes, you should. I always think you should have one fragrance from an independent house. You don't just have the big companies that you know which are producing lovely work. You kind of have something of interest, something of difference. And it's supporting smaller companies. I think so so important where you spend your money. You know, for ethical, you know, look for all these sort of things. But I think uh, this is not give me that and niche houses so we go back niche houses generally tend to be using more high quality raw materials not using stock built sort of to be stronger and more radiant interesting unique different likable kind of doing everything that's what you want and more expensive because less staff and you want beautiful packaging all of that that's for smaller independent houses and i'm not really getting that i'm have all i've got left is a really nicely constructed smooth leather vanilla spicy fragrance please leave a comments below if you have used this house if you what you think all that sort of stuff i'm really curious i don't really know if what i mean about a mark i'd say something if it if it gave me brightness that brightness that i kind of want that that can be done with this sort of work you know i kind of it smells just like a little smooth leather fragrance no i'd give it out with the price i'd give it an eight or nine because of, you know, what it is, I'm going to give it a seven. I think it's all right, but it's not giving me, I don't know, I kind of want more extract to perform. I wanted it insane. I kind of wanted to cough a little bit and it's, I can't really, can't really smell it, but it might be my skin. It might be me, you know, on your skin, it might be absolutely amazing. Super fantastical. So if you love that review, thumbs up and subscribe on fascinating interesting content, lots of moving hands, and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.